Maths Dictionary by Peter Robson, A Literary Analysis In Peter Robson's Maths Dictionary, readers embark on a journey through the labyrinthine world of mathematics, guided by the author's lucid explanations and engaging prose. While the title may suggest a mere reference book, Robson's work transcends the conventional boundaries of a dictionary, offering not only definitions but also insights, historical context, and a sense of wonder about the subject. Robson's work is not a traditional dictionary that lists terms in alphabetical order with concise definitions. Instead, it unfolds as a narrative, with each entry serving as a window into a unique mathematical concept. This unconventional approach enables Robson to create a rich tapestry of mathematical knowledge, interweaving definitions with anecdotes, history, and practical applications. As a result, Math's Dictionary becomes not just a reference book but a captivating exploration of mathematics itself. One of the defining features of Robson's work is his ability to demystify complex mathematical concepts. He does not shy away from tackling formidable subjects like calculus, geometry, and algebra. Instead, he breaks them down into digestible pieces, using accessible language and relatable examples. For instance, in his entry on Calculus, Robson begins with the question, Have you ever wondered how to measure the steepness of a hill? This down-to-earth approach invites readers to see the relevance of calculus in their everyday lives, making it less intimidating. Moreover, Robson's historical narratives add depth and context to his definitions. In entries such as Pythagoras and Fermat's Last Theorem, he takes readers on a journey through time, explaining the origins of mathematical ideas and the contributions of famous mathematicians. By doing so, Robson helps readers appreciate the evolution of mathematical thought, highlighting the enduring nature of mathematical principles. The book's narrative structure also allows Robson to explore the interconnectedness of mathematical concepts. Rather than presenting each term in isolation, he often links entries, demonstrating how one idea leads to another. This approach encourages readers to see mathematics as a cohesive system rather than a collection of isolated facts. For example, in the entry on exponents, Robson seamlessly transitions to logarithms, showing how these two concepts are intimately related and building a deeper understanding of mathematical relationships. Robson's Maths Dictionary goes beyond theory by offering real-world applications of mathematical concepts. In the entry on Statistics, he explains the importance of statistics in fields like medicine and economics, highlighting its practical relevance. This approach underscores the idea that mathematics is not an abstract subject but a powerful tool for solving real-world problems. One of the book's standout qualities is its accessibility. Robson takes care to define not only mathematical terms but also common misconceptions and pitfalls. For instance, in the entry on division, he addresses the often confusing concept of dividing by zero, clarifying why it is undefined. This attention to detail ensures that readers, regardless of their mathematical background, can engage with the content without feeling overwhelmed. Furthermore, Robson's writing style is engaging and approachable. He uses anecdotes, humor, and everyday language to make the subject matter relatable. His passion for mathematics shines through, making it contagious for readers. Instead of a dry academic exercise, Math's Dictionary becomes a delightful exploration of the beauty and elegance inherent in mathematical thinking. In conclusion, Peter Robson's Math's Dictionary transcends the traditional boundaries of a reference book. It is a literary work that combines definitions, historical narratives, real-world applications, and a deep passion for mathematics. 
Through its unconventional approach, the book not only educates but also inspires readers to appreciate the profound and enduring impact of mathematics on our lives. It serves as a testament to the idea that mathematics is not an abstract, daunting subject but a fascinating and accessible realm waiting to be explored.